Achata Yeb with uh, Fit Beauty Services. I'm super excited to present you our friends and guests, uh, Christina Shaw from Allstate, who had stopped by to educate us a little bit about the insurance. So we took the advantage and uh, share with you. Awesome. Christina, thank you very much for stopping by. You're the best. Thank, thank you for having me thank here. Thank you so much for coming down. So exciting to meet everybody and see this amazing workspace. Thank you. Um, so we were just spending some time talking about Questions with homeowners insurance, like how did we get to a replacement cost, right? right. So a house is eight hundred thousand dollars. Why are we insuring it for four or five thousand? Um, right, that it's based on the replacement cost and not the cost because the cost takes into consideration the value of the land, the community, all of those pieces that aren't coming in when we're rebuilding a structure. Mm -hmm. um, we were touching about flood insurance. And, and the cost on that. Um, any other questions I could? Um, so you said it's based on the replacement cost, right? Um, so we I asked remember, questions. I think I remember that it was based on, on, on two things, whether a home was new, and I forgot what the other thing was, um, but you said it's based on the replacement cost. So we'll, we'll come up with a replacement cost by asking the, your buyer questions like the square footage, um, how many bathrooms, when was the roof last replaced, gotcha. um, the year built, and if they don't have that information, again, I could pull it from our records or online. If you have an appraisal, that's yeah. awesome, but if you don't, that's totally Does fine. the year was built in have any effect on, on the cost? It will have an effect on the cost. And again, it all depends on location, so it's not a clear-cut answer. Gotcha. So you said it's based on square footage, so let's say the home is 2,000 square feet. So if you multiply by, what, $200,000 a square foot? Or? So we're going to put all of this data, it's not uh, that one piece, into okay. our replacement cost tool, and it's gonna come back with a number. Mm -hmm. And what's really nice is all insurance companies do a drive-by inspection. So let's just say right. we come up with a value of 575. Mm -hmm. After we write the policy, the insurance company is going to drive by the home. And they're doing two things. One, we want to make sure that that 575 is right. Because you could tell me 2,000 square feet, but maybe it's 1,800 or maybe it's right. 2,200. So do they, do they measure it? They'll or measure. They'll measure it. And okay. then we also want to make sure there's no hazards. So cracked sidewalks, leading trees, curling roof, um, things of that yeah, nature. Hand, ra hand railing. Hand railing, exactly. Yeah. Roof, exactly. Yes, I've seen roofs, uh, shingles missing on the roofs. So I have somebody on my team, Tanya, who's amazing, um, who does all of our onboarding, mm -hmm. and she'll walk people through if there's an inspection issue, and you have time to correct it. But I mean, if you as the realtors are ever concerned when you're listing a mm -hmm. property, we could do a pre-inspection, the insurance awesome. company. Um, and you'd already mentioned this before, but I think it would be very good for them to know um, that you guys also uh, package other types of so the auto and the home. You were telling us the yeah. percentage that people on average sales. So I think that would be good if you shared it with them. Absolutely. So when we bundle, the homeowners is discounted 38%, which is so huge. And then the discount on the auto is 10% when we put them together. Um, so the savings is phenomenal, mm -hmm. and, and we're so competitive right now on our home product, it's unbelievable. Um, and if we can't um, write for the whole host of reasons we were talking about, we do have brokering options with other A-rated companies. Fantastic, when the insurance is usually needed uh, for the purchaser, in what stage of the transaction? So about a week or two weeks prior to closing, the mortgage professional is going to ask for the evidence of insurance mm -hmm. and paid receipt to clear the file to close. Mm -hmm. And um, we'll get that over to the bank immediately. I like to speak to the buyer once they get into contract so we can educate and answer all the questions. Mm -hmm. um, so for example, let's say a specific buyer needs jewelry coverage um, or special endorsements to the policy mm -hmm. sometimes those conversations don't take place if we're rushing to get to the closing table right, right. Um, so about a week or two prior but we could do it from the closing table too that happens <laughs> yeah we've seen that yeah seen that, that happens too. no it's always been in full the first year right the mortgage bank nine out of ten times is going to require a paid in full receipt um, and then you set up your escrow account so every year thereafter the bank will pay it on your behalf from your escrow account. Got it. Because that was a major issue we've had with some clients. They've paid in full and then they were asking, why am I paying the insurance again? It's if such I already, a common question. If I already paid in full, how come I'm getting charged again? 
for an insurance if I already paid in full. Can you explain that? Absolutely. So we will let them know that on their good faith estimate, there's a line item that says homeowner's insurance. So when you're paying me as the insurance company, when you get to the closing table that day, that is not going to be there. That number is going to be um, minus out of your closing costs. And then when the bill comes due next year, each month when you make your mortgage payment, you're paying your principal, your interest, one twelfth year taxes, and one twelfth year homeowners. So they think, well, I'm paying my homeowners each month, but I just paid you. Right. You're paying it so when the bill comes due next year, there's money in your escrow account. Got it. And should you ever sell, um, then of course you'll get refunded whatever's in your escrow. Perfect. The limit of questions, deductibles, right? There's always yeah. an option. A thousand dollars deductibles, twenty five hundred dollars yeah. deductibles. What would you choose and why? Great question. So I always start with a thousand dollar deductible. I'm not going to recommend a five hundred dollar deductible because you're not going to put in a claim for six or seven hundred dollars. I always tell people it's not a maintenance policy, right? It's mm -hmm. for something big. It's a hazard, yeah. Exactly. Um, Sometimes we will look at our higher end properties. It makes a lot of sense to do a $2,500 or even a $5,000 deductible. But on our typical or common properties, um, normally we'll go with a $1,000 deductible. Hey, how are you doing? Hi, how are you? We got some water jumping in. So we'll be going live. Hey, how are you? How you doing? How are you alive? He's the one who always asks us. You need to bring somebody to educate us. Oh, here I am. Let's we, see the shop. Pleasure to meet you. So, uh, you met my captain? Yes, I am your captain. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, Thank you. What other questions? Andrew, any other questions? Guys, um, anybody else? Do you get, Andrew, do you get a lot of questions from buyers about homeowners insurance? Um, not so much. I just remember uh, those questions from when I was doing uh, mortgages for like a quick Second. Quick moment. Uh, yeah. I always wondered how those things are came about. And we're, again, we're really sensitive to ratio issues. Yeah. We understand. Um, we understand well, I'm sure all, all of that. Our mortgage people looking will be very glad to hear that. Ratio issues, yes. yes. <laughs> ratio issues. Can, so. can, you, can you spell a bit about that? That's very interesting. What Absolutely. You so when you're uh, a mortgage professional, and, and um, I hope my mortgage professional listening agree <laughs> with this, uh, that you're qua being qualified for the mortgage, right? Um, based on a principal and interest, and they're estimating the homeowner's insurance. Mm -hmm. So if we're putting $150 as a line item, and now that line item is 225 and your, I guess, debt to income is over that threshold, yeah. that, that could be a problem for the deal. Huge problem. Um, so we're really sensitive to that. Mm -hmm. and, and I like to know that up front, too, uh, if from my realtor or my mortgage partner. If we're really close on those ratios, communicate that to me mm -hmm. so I can lead the conversation with deductibles and things like that. That brings me to another question. Walk us through if there's a disaster. Let's say not a sandy. Let's say there's a fire, right? Let's say a, a pipe burst. There was a lot of pipes that burst this winter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was a rough winter. How does it go about with the, with the insurance? So that's, that's why you want to work with somebody like me and my team because you're going to call us directly and we're going to set the claim up. We have Allstate, which is 24-7, obviously. Um, and an unbelievable claims team, but myself and my team are going to walk you through that process. We're going to let you know that you're covered. We're going to let you know how it works. Um, we're going to stay in touch with you. Um, we're just gonna be there for you, really. Right. And I always tell people, um, it's very self-serving for me to tell you how fabulous I am, right? <laughs> um, so I encourage people to go online, either Google or our Facebook, and read yeah. our reviews with what our customers are saying. Um, in Sandy, I was six months pregnant with my first daughter, so I couldn't have any alcohol, so it was a, a trying time. And um, people were coming in, giving me hugs, bringing me coffee, because they were so happy with their claim and, and how they were being handled. Mm -hmm. And that's really the time of truth, right? right. You're, you're buying a piece of paper from me, um, and I'm giving you a promise, and then when that claim happens, can I deliver on that promise? All right, makes sense. Great guys, another question before we wrap up? Wrap up? What do you mean by this came in? <laughs> you can wait half an hour. <laughs> this was, this was it. Two o'clock. Right? <laughs> oh. You no. have to check your schedule. I'd be happy to answer any questions. Oh, and no, I'm setting this all up. He's, he's <laughs> <good. laughs> ben, I'm sorry, you're late. You missed the meeting. <laughs> you're out of luck. <laughs> Just oh, we, we have a recorded, so we'll go over everything. 
Christina, thank you very much. Oh my gosh, Appreciate awesome. That. Thanks for Pleasure. I'll probably change my insurance.